In this video, I'm going to describe the various parts of the MyPERSA online form and I'll also explain how to apply for a new service. And the example that we'll be using is the service Renew or Update a Livestock Pick. You should use a computer, preferably, or a tablet to access MyPERSA. In order to access MyPERSA, you need to have firstly registered as a MyPERSA user and verified your account. You only need to do this once. If you haven't already done this, then you should watch the first video in this series, which describes how to register as a MyPERSA user. So assuming you already have a MyPERSA account, we firstly need to find the web page where we can log into MyPERSA. So open up your internet browser and search for MyPERSA services. And it will be the first link that's listed here. So click on that. Since we already have a MyPERSA account, we want to log in as an existing user. So I'll put in my email address here. I'll enter my password. And I'll tick this box saying that I've read, understood and agree to these terms and conditions. And I've read and understood the privacy policy. You can click on either of these two links to view these documents if you wish. But for now, I'll just log in. Just before I do that, you'll notice there's a forgot your password link here. So if you've forgotten your password, you can get your password reset by clicking on that link. But here I'll click on login. All right, this is the My Persa screen. And you'll notice that there's a logout button up here on the right. And there's also a help button that leads to a troubleshooting page where it describes how you can reset your password, update your details, what internet browsers you can use, and who to contact for support. So going back here, you notice there are two tabs, one for My Services, and here you can see that we have no approved services at the moment. We'll come back to this tab in a moment, but we'll just go to the My Profile uh, tab. And here you can see that you can update your personal details by clicking on this link, or you can click on this link here to change your password if you wish. All right, so going back to the My Services tab, we have an approved services section, but we don't have any services in here. There's another section called apply for a new service. And there's quite a few different services here that you can apply for. But the one that I'll be using today is renew or update a livestock pick. So if your service application is automatically approved, it'll go into the approved services section. If your service application is not automatically approved, it will go in the new service applications in progress section, which I'll explain further in a little while. So we'll click on renew or update a pick. And what you should do here is enter your pick and enter the first two characters in uppercase. All most picks start with S A S B S C or possibly S K. So I've entered the first two characters in uppercase. I'll enter the rest of my pick number and I'll click on submit. Now it says your application for this service will either be automatically approved and you'll receive an email within the next 30 minutes saying that your service will be available for use by the approved services section of MyPERSA. Or, if it's not automatically approved, it would be 
forwarded for review by a PERSA representative and if it's not automatically approved it will appear in the new service applications in progress section of my PERSA and when your service request has been re reviewed you received an email informing you of the outcome of the review so I'll click on this link here to continue and you can see we've been returned to the My Persa page and in the approved services section we have our pick listed with the service renew or update a livestock pick and that's been auto approved because the name that I used, Andrew Smith, to register as a MyPersa user matches with a name registered against this PIC in PERSA's database. So that means you'll be able to renew or update this livestock PIC whenever you want to. The previous screen said that I'd be sent an email, so we'll go and have a look at that. And here we are, the uh, email has arrived. It can take up to 30 minutes for the email to arrive, depending on how often your internet service provider refreshes their email server. If you haven't received it after 30 minutes, it may be in your spam box, so check that. So I'll click on this email says that my application for a MyPersa service has been approved. My service is for the pick that I entered, renew or update a livestock pick, and that I can access this at any time by logging into my Persa account. And there's a link here to log on if I wasn't already logged on. But since I'm logged on, I'll just return to my Persa. Now, if I applied for renew or update a pick for a pick that I wasn't on in PERS's pick database then it would go into new service applications in progress so we'll just try that click on this enter a pick that I'm not associated with in PERS's pick database submit that and we can see that we've got the same message as we saw before. Either your application will be automatically approved or be forwarded for review by a PERSA representative. And it would appear in the new service applications in progress section. So we'll click on that. That will return us to my PERSA. And you can see down here in the new service applications in progress that this pick is now listed here because there wasn't a match between my name and uh, the pick as registered in PERS's pick database. So what will happen here is that a member of the pick registrations team will review this application and contact you within three to four business days if necessary and then decide whether to approve or not approve your application. If your application is denied then this application here will no longer be listed in the new service applications in progress section it will actually disappear from that section and you'll be sent an email stating the reasons why your service application was not approved. If you have more than one pick, you'll need to apply for renew or update a livestock pick for each pick that you have. But you only need to do this once for each pick. And when approved, you can renew or update your pick details for each pick as often as you like. So in this video, I've described the various parts of the My Persa screen, and I've also explained 
how to apply for a new service for renew or update a livestock pick. If you have questions or a problem, you can refer to the frequently asked questions for pick online document on the PERSA website, or you can contact the pick registrations team during normal business hours. In the next video, I'll explain how to renew or update your livestock pick by clicking on the link next to your pick over here.